Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I will be doing an unboxing of a new Apple product. I got this one yesterday. Um, it's a birthday present for myself. I've never had one of this before, so it's really very special. So let's go ahead and unbox this baby. So out of the box, I have this new Apple Watch SE. There you go. Um, I've never had any of the Apple Watches. This will be my first Apple Watch. Um, the moment that it was launched, I really wanted to get one. I don't... Well, I wanted to get the... Um, Apple Watch 6 but I find it really expensive um, for whatever extra features it has so I decided to just go for the SE I only wanted the basic features anyway um, but then it has all everything the um, Apple Watch 6 can do except for the oxygen tracking and the ECG so I don't really need any of those so I set up for the Apple Watch SE. Now, um, just a brief history or whatever on how I purchased it. Um, I did purchase it on apple.ca or the online Apple Canada website. Most of the watches are like, if you opted for it to be delivered, it will take a week or two to process or to be before you receive it. Now, what I did is actually to pick it up um, on the one of the Apple stores. The thing is, most of them are not really available for pickup, even if it's just the Apple Watch SE or the Apple Watch 6. Um, so I was really lucky that I was able to find the perfect variant that will give me, that will allow me to pick it up the day after. So I ordered this one 22nd, I think, April 22nd, um evening and then i was able to pick it up yesterday 23rd if i'm not mistaken yeah at apple yorkdale mall so it was just a one day um pickup so you have to schedule the time that you're going to pick up the item you can't just drop by on any apple store um you have to receive the email and then they usually would require you to line up still but once they have the box ready for you then they will actually um, ask you to come inside the store and pick up the item all right so let's start unboxing it mm, okay so it has this two things to open Look at that. This is the box for the Apple Watch. And it actually says SE at the back. It does say Apple Watch SE. Um, and then here you are. So this is the box for the actual watch. It does show you the watch. And then there is another box for the band okay so as you can see i opted for the regular sport band it's because i checked some reviews about the new solo loop and people are saying that it doesn't actually fit well and since most people are doing like ordering it online so they do have that measurement thing that you can do online to get the specific size that you need for the solo loop but a lot of people are complaining that it doesn't really match or it doesn't fit them well and unfortunately if that happens you can't just return the band itself so I read that you have to return the entire thing including the watch um, which doesn't really make sense because they are actually selling just the band itself. So why not just replace the band 
But so that's the like horror story I read and I don't want to be in that position. That's why I just opted for the regular sport band, which I can easily um, adjust the strap or if I wanted the solo loop that I could just get it few months after. All right, so let's start with the band first. Um, let's open it. I'm excited. Like I wanted, I'm I'm actually using an old Fitbit uh, before. Uh, it lasted me, it's been two years. So I still have the Fitbit with me. It's just that I don't have like any customizations I can do with the Fitbit except for the band. Um, I don't really use it for notifications and stuff. It's just for step tracking. So here you go. This is how the band looks like. I know a lot of people would definitely know this because a lot of people have the regular sport band. Um, so that's about it. Let me just check. I like how it feels. Um, my Fitbit band doesn't definitely feel like this one. So you have two options for the band. You have the longer one and you have the shorter one. I feel like I'm gonna be using the shorter one more than the longer band. Okay, and now it's time for the actual watch. So, let me open this one. Hmm. I like Apple packaging so much. Okay. okay, how do I do this? Oh, oh, there you go. It slides. And here you are. So you have the watch here. I don't know what's inside this one. So I opted for the gold color. It's because I have my iPhone in the same color. <laughs> okay, mm, looks nice. It looks pretty sturdy, extremely different compared to my, well, I shouldn't compare to be honest. There you go. So this is the 40 millimeter size. Um, I think it's just perfect for me because if I get the 44 millimeter, it's going to be really huge on my wrist. So sit there. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, it's the... You have your instructions. This is really nice. Okay. And your wireless charging or charging thing so again there's no more what do you call that one that power thing they don't provide it anymore which is fine which i like because i do have a power strip that has usb slots in it so i could just easily put this charger in there and voila Okay, so this is your charger. And okay, now I have to put in the band and my watch. Now I have to remove the plastics. I'm so scared of removing plastics. Because I want my stuff to be like brand new. Okay. This is from someone who doesn't really know. First time having an Apple Watch. Okay, open your band box. Follow the steps attached to your band. To attach your band to your Apple Watch. So it says I have to slide it until I hear a click. Okay. I guess this is how I do it. So this one goes on top. 
slide until I hear a click. There's no click. I don't hear a click. Whatever, I didn't hear a click, but... the side button and now it's train it's now in a setup mode so I'll go ahead and set this up first so let's choose English Canada now I have to start pairing it with my phone okay so it says open the Apple watch oh amazing it did open this one automatically I haven't touched anything Okay, so let's spare it. Continue. Set up Apple Watch. Yes, it's for myself. Oh, Put on your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. So, I guess it's this one, whatever this does. And align it here. Whoa. It says it's spared. <laughs> Apologies, it's my first time. Okay, so it says it's spared. Which wrist do you wear your Apple Watch? I wear it on my left wrist. All right, so I'm going to continue pairing the watch with my iPhone. Um, I'm gonna have to fast forward everything until the setup is finished and then I'll see you guys again. All right, so I have Paired the watch successfully with my phone. There you go. And so far it's looking good. I guess that's it for the unboxing of this watch.